Once upon a time, there was a girl named Rapunzel who lived in a small town. She had long blonde hair and a beautiful smile. Good morning. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Good morning, Rapunzel. While taking a morning stroll, Rapunzel heard one of her neighbors crying. She immediately went to see what was wrong. <laughs> What's wrong? Why are you crying? Ah, oh, Rapunzel, just take a look at this. Oh. Your chickens, where are they? They're gone. Last night, I fed and petted each one of them. Today, they're gone. Are you sure you locked the coop? Maybe you forgot to lock it. Rapunzel's neighbor extended her hand and showed her the broken padlock. Who could have done this? I wish I knew. Come on then, let's go to the police. Together they went to the police station. On the way, Rapunzel was trying to console her neighbour. Rapunzel noticed the shop that had just opened a few days back. The shop sold fresh eggs daily. She had never met the shop owner. At that moment, she got a glimpse of Avelia and assumed she was the owner. Good luck with your new shop, dear neighbor. Avelia saw Rapunzel and responded with a fake smile. Good morning. Where are you rushing to? My neighbor's chickens were stolen. Those chickens were her livelihood. We're going to the police. Oh dear, what a pity. Let us know if you see them, okay? Of course. Don't you worry. Rapunzel thanked her and continued on her way. Evelia grinned wickedly as she always did. When they arrived at the police station, they requested to speak to one of the detectives. Hello, Rapunzel. What brings you here? My neighbor's chickens got stolen. Hmm, I see. I, I would send eggs to my grandchildren and sell the rest in the market. What am I going to do now? <laughs> Many people filed similar complaints today, so a lot of our officers were dispatched to the locations. You'll have to wait. For how long? I can't say for sure. But we have to catch the thief and get the chickens back. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do right now. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Rapunzel realized that she had to take the matter into her own hands. Don't worry, I'll help you. This looks perfect. find that thief quickly. Rapunzel began her investigation and hoped to find anything that would lead her to find the thief. Find anything, child? 
No, but wait a second. Rapunzel found an earring on the ground. She took it in order to examine it closely. The thief must have dropped this. At least we now know we're dealing with a woman. What are you going to do? I'm going to find out whom this earring belongs to, but I need to find more clues. But there must be many women in town who have the same earring. How are you going to find it, Soner? True, there might be many, but there has to be a second one to it. Whomever has one earring missing, most likely it's the thief we're looking for. Rapunzel started going into various shops in town. While doing so, she also took a closer look at the customer's ears. She was hoping to find the missing pair. Rapunzel kept looking for the second earring till evening. But her efforts were in vain. Her poor neighbour started crying once again. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll find your chickens and the thief too. We just need some more time. It got dark then, so they went back home. That night, Rapunzel couldn't sleep, pondering how to solve this mystery. She reflected back on the shop she'd been in, thinking whether she'd skipped any. In the morning, as Rapunzel washed her face, she realized that she hadn't been to Avelia's newly opened store. She put some clothes on, had breakfast quickly, and left home for Avelia's shop. Avelia was surprised to see Rapunzel come into her shop so early in the morning. What brings you here? Your neighbor's chickens don't lay eggs anymore? As I told you yesterday, somebody stole my neighbor's chickens. Besides, hers are not the only ones. Somebody's been stealing chickens all across town. We couldn't find anything. Oh dear. So that means everybody has to buy eggs and chickens from me. <laughs> Rapunzel noticed an earring in Avelia's ear. It was the exact same one she had found the day before. Discreetly, Rapunzel peeked at Avelia's other ear. She was missing a second earring. What a beautiful earring! Thank you! I spent so much money on them. Them? But you only have one earring! I, uh, uh, I mean, I, I only wear one! Yes, that's it. That's the new fashion trend, wearing only one earring. Not, not that you'd actually know much about fashion. Rapunzel left the shop without raising suspicion. She found it odd that Avelia had opened an egg shop just when there was a chicken thief on the loose. There must be a connection, Rapunzel thought. She immediately hid in the corner of the street and waited for Avelia to close her shop. As soon as it got dark, Avelia closed her shop and looked around to make sure no one was watching. Once she saw no one was on the street, she hurried, walking quickly. Rapunzel followed her. She moved stealthily in the shadows. 
Rapunzel got a chance to send a text message to the detective, explaining the situation. Evelia walked for a long time and arrived at some desolate place. Rapunzel was still on her tail. Evelia stood in front of an abandoned farmhouse and looked around. Then, she opened the door and disappeared inside. Rapunzel worked up the courage and went inside through the door. It was dark and quiet inside. Rapunzel was scared at first, but when she thought of her neighbour, she took control and followed the sound of Avelia's footsteps. A little later, Rapunzel heard clucking sounds. She realised she had been right to suspect Avelia. She looked through a small window and saw all the chickens reported missing. Evelia was feeding them and collecting their eggs. Now I've got you! Rapunzel stopped in her tracks. She would need proof to accuse Avelia. So she decided to film everything. Then, she decided it was time to catch Evelia red-handed. So you're the chicken thief. Evelia was startled to see Rapunzel, that her face turned all shades of white. Uh, oh, wh where did you come from? You've put these poor people through ringer. You're going to pay for this. <laughs> Are you going to make me pay? You thought you could scare me with that detective look of yours? Don't make me laugh. That's when the sirens of police cars were heard. You damn little witch! I'll make you pay for this! You cannot run, Avelia! Avelia started to run away. Rapunzel knew that she had to think of something fast. You can never catch me, Rapunzel! <laughs> Meanwhile, the detective and the other officers couldn't help themselves but laugh at Avelia. <laughs> I'll make you pay, Rapunzel! You're going to pay for this! The police officers apprehended Avelia. Townspeople who arrived at the scene due to noise saw everything. Rapunzel, you did a great job. You are a hero. I only help my neighbor. We all have our chickens back thanks to you. I can send my grandchildren eggs again. And what will happen to Evelia? She's going to spend the night in custody. Tomorrow she'll be trialed fairly and punished accordingly. Then I'm done with her. Let's not think about this now. We should celebrate. To celebrate, the townspeople made a huge omelette with the eggs they collected from chickens. The omelette was so huge that they even invited people from the neighbouring towns. That night, Rapunzel slept soundly knowing she had helped many people.
Once upon a time, there lived a girl named Rapunzel. who had long blonde hair and a beautiful smile. She lived in a small town and everyone that met her grew fond of her. She was a hairdresser and her salon was always crowded with clients as a result of her kindness and good manners. Every morning as usual, she would leave home to go to her hair salon. Good morning. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Good morning, Rapunzel. What a cute little kid you are! When she arrived at her shop, there was a queue outside. Where have you been, Rapunzel? I'll be late for work. Come on, open your shop! Okay, okay, don't worry. I'll take care of everyone immediately. However, there was another hair salon across Rapunzel's. The owner of this shop was a wicked, jealous woman named Evelia. She had had to move out of every town she'd been in because she was not a skilled hairdresser and she didn't treat her clients nicely. She watched Rapunzel's every move with envious eyes. Evelia wanted to meet Rapunzel so she could befriend her. That way she could get to know Rapunzel better and discover her weaknesses. Avelia wanted to get rid of her so she could become the only hairdresser in town. She waited until Rapunzel's clients were gone. Hello, neighbor. Hello. I've just moved in. I hope you're not upset that I opened a hair salon across from yours. I'm so happy you did. There are so many clients in this town that will have enough for both of us. Besides, competition is good. It encourages people to do a better job. I see. I'm a fierce competitor. You can be sure of that. <laughs> awesome. So, tell me, why did you become a hairdresser? I've been to many places and made a lot of friends. But that's not enough for me. I want to make myself useful and help people. I enjoy enhancing people's beauty. So, you're a friendly hairdresser. Yes, I am. What about you? Why are you a hairdresser? I only do it for the money. I don't care about anything else. That's strange. But anyhow, I hope you find what you're looking for here. Good luck with your new hair salon, neighbor. Days passed by. While Rapunzel went on with her life, Avelia was failing miserably at her job and clients were leaving her shop unhappily. Avelia finally realized that she was not good at this job, so she plotted an evil plan. I think I figured it out. I know what I'll do to you, Rapunzel. In the evening, after Rapunzel had closed her shop, Evelia sneaked in Rapunzel's hair salon. She wanted to teach Rapunzel a lesson she wouldn't forget. She emptied the shampoo bottles and filled them with glue. She knew that her customers would never visit Rapunzel's salon once they saw they had sticky hair. Nobody can compete with Avelia, you snooty blondie. Tomorrow will be the end of your dreams. <laughs> the next morning, Rapunzel happily opened her shop as usual.
She had brought along her dog Hazelnut. Rapunzel immediately started cleaning up the place. While Rapunzel swept the floors and dusted the furniture, Hazelnut was prancing around excitedly. While Rapunzel was wiping the hair washing sink, Hazelnut knocked over one of the shampoo bottles near the sink. Poor Hazelnut got stuck in place because of the spilled glue. Rapunzel immediately helped Hazelnut get out of that sticky situation. She wondered who could have done such a terrible thing. If it hadn't been for poor Hazelnut, she would have poured the glue in her customer's hair. In the meantime, Avelia awaited anxiously to hear about Rapunzel's mishap. With a sinister smile on her face, she waited and waited. Let's see what you'll do when your customer's hair gets all sticky. <laughs> Hours later, Evelia saw how Rapunzel's customers were leaving with a big smile on their face. The wicked grin on Evelia's lips began to fade away. How could this be? How did this little blonde witch manage to get away from my trap? Rapunzel was a very smart girl and had remembered Evelia's comment about being competitive. So she pretended to drop one of the bottles that Avelia had filled with glue and went back inside. Avelia wanted to understand what had gone wrong. So she washed her hair with the glue thinking it was shampoo. Her hands got stuck to her hair. She was furious when she realized she had been tricked. <sighs> You're going to pay for this, Rapunzel. I'll make you pay. The next evening, Rapunzel locked up her shop happily satisfied, knowing she had done a great job. On her way home, a shadow prowled behind the trees. It was none other than Avelia. I'm going to make you pay for this! Avelia then went back to get a jerry can and poured gasoline around Rapunzel's shop. She lit a match and set the place ablaze. With a malevolent smile on her face, Avelia stood in front of her own shop as she watched Rapunzel's salon burn down. But Avelia hadn't realized that when she set Rapunzel's shop ablaze, her hair had accidentally caught fire. Flames engulfed Avelia's shop too. Two hair salons were on fire. It was too late to do anything. The next morning, when Rapunzel arrived to her salon, she only found ashes. She fell to her knees in anguish and started crying. What am I going to do now? I spent so much time and money on my place. The townspeople surrounded Rapunzel. They were all sad for her. We have to help her. What can we do? I can give her a year's rent. I can do all the woodwork. And I can donate the supplies and equipment she needs. I can paint inside the shop. When Rapunzel heard all this, she was so happy that this time she cried tears of joy. Come on then, let's get to work. All the townspeople got to work and built a brand new hair salon for Rapunzel. It was even better than the former one. I don't know how to thank you all. You can repay us by continuing to be good. We don't need anything else. And what happened to Avelia? She was ashamed and couldn't bear to stay there. So once again, she skipped town. Once upon a time, there lived a girl named Rapunzel who had long blonde hair and a beautiful smile.
She would open the shop which she worked early every morning, clean the place up and bake fresh pastries and cakes. The pastry shop belonged to a woman named Avelia. However, she was very rude and unkind. She would admonish Rapunzel any chance she got. Besides, this was the only pastry shop in town where she could work. Good morning! Can't you greet and work at the same time? If you can't complete those orders, you'll be in big trouble, Missy. But I started working as soon as I opened the shop. Perhaps you're taking too many orders. Would you look at that little brat? Are you complaining about your work? If those orders are not ready by evening, I'll cut half of your salary. Rapunzel's eyes welled up with tears. Since her salary was already meager, she was disheartened. If, if you could help me just a little, all orders can be ready on time. Who? Me? With this hair and nails? Don't be ridiculous. If you can't handle this job, I can find someone who won't nag. Rapunzel kept her head down and continued working. The only reason the townspeople would come to Avelia's shop was because they loved Rapunzel. Rapunzel's biggest dream was to open her own pastry shop. That's much better. Now I'm going out with my friends. When I get back, I expect everything to be ready. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Velia exited the shop with laughter. That day, Rapunzel did everything. She didn't even eat the whole day. She was so exhausted that she fell asleep in a chair. Rapunzel dreamed about her grandmother who lived far away. She had taught her how to bake cakes. She was so happy to see her. My beautiful child, my kind, hard-working and talented child. Grandma! Granny! It's been a long time, hasn't it, dear? Yes, it's been a long time. I work so hard and Avelia never gives me a day off. That's why I haven't visited you. I miss you so much. Oh, my dear child, my heart breaks for you, but don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> this is just a dream, and when I wake up, you won't be here with me. I'll be lonely again. <laughs> Tomorrow, go to the neighboring town earliest. Look at the bulletin board in the town hall. And then? We'll speak later again. Grandma kissed Rapunzel on the forehead and vanished into a pink cloud. As soon as she disappeared, Rapunzel opened her eyes to find an angry Avelia staring down at her. You're sleeping in my shop? Am I paying you for this? But, but I... Quiet! Speak no more! I'm cutting half of your salary. I hope you learn to stay awake on the job. Rapunzel tried to explain herself, but she couldn't. Something told her to follow her grandmother's advice. But how? She had to come up with an excuse so she could go to the next town. Rapunzel decided to go to the cafe where Evelia was. 
When Avelia saw Rapunzel, she was extremely surprised yet puzzled. What are you doing here, bratty girl? Why aren't you at the shop? Is this the poor soul you were talking about? <laughs> Don't even ask, dear. She's such a troublemaker. If my shop closes down one day, it'll be her fault. What do you want? I've run out of ingredients. I need to get some. Don't you see I'm with my friends right now? You dare disturb me for this? I can't bake any of the orders. Can't it wait until afternoon, silly? I can buy them. You? You can't even find the way home. Then I'll just sit around. Evelia hesitated and reconsidered. She didn't want to leave her friends. She worried that they would make fun of her. All right then, but make sure you're back before noon. If I find out that you've been slacking, I'll cut the rest of your salary. Don't worry, ma'am. I'll be back on time. Rapunzel left immediately. Excitedly, she checked the bulletin board in front of the town hall, just like her grandmother had told her in the dream. She was surprised to only find one announcement on the board. It said, Bake your best cake and win the grand prize. So that's it. Rapunzel took a picture of the announcement with her cell phone and returned to the pastry shop right away. While trying to finish the orders, Rapunzel pondered on how to enter the contest. The cake had to taste really good and be extraordinarily decorated. But how? That only meant going to bed late at night. But Rapunzel was determined because she wanted to win the grand prize so she could open her own pastry shop. Just then, Evelia rushed into the shop. She looked happy. The time has come to show my skills. What? Jealous? Me? No, not at all. I hope you win. Good luck. I know what you're thinking, brat. You'd also like to enter the contest, right? Only the best can participate. Rapunzel wanted to put an end to Avelia's abuse. Entering the contest might be her only chance to do so. Rapunzel went home late at night and started designing her cake. She had decided to enter the contest under a pen name. Yes! I've got it! Pink Cream Pastry Shop! <laughs> as soon as she fell asleep, her grandmother appeared before her. Well done, my dear. There's nothing you can't accomplish if you work hard and believe in yourself. But Grandma, Evelia is participating in the contest too. You think she's better than you? Isn't she? Of course not. When did you last see her baking cakes? Rapunzel then realized that ever since she started working for Evelia, she never once saw Evelia baking cakes. You're right, Granny. I see what you mean now. Well done, my beautiful princess. Now, put your creativity and talent together and see what comes out of it. When Rapunzel woke up, she knew what to do now. Because her grandmother had always called her princess, Rapunzel decided to make a princess-themed cake. Next morning, she found Avelia designing the cake for the contest. Since Avelia hadn't baked cakes in a while, her skills were rusty. Things were not looking good for Avelia. 
it's turning out beautifully. No one could bake something like this in a lifetime. I'd show you, but I'm afraid you could jinx it. <laughs> Once Avelia had left, Rapunzel gathered all her ingredients and went home. As soon as she got home, she started working on her cake. But if she wanted her dream to come true, she had to make an effort. Rapunzel finished her cake at sunrise. She stood from afar and took a last look at her cake. It was perfect. She took her cake and went to the neighbouring town. She waited, hiding in a corner. Shortly after, Evelia arrived carrying her cake. She pushed the other contestants that were in line and made her way to the front of the line and checked in. <laughs> Make way! The champion has arrived! And finally the contest began and the judges appeared near the long table. The judges stood next to each cake. Some cakes caused them to grimace and some cakes made them smile. A couple of hours later, the judges gathered to make a decision. Everybody was waiting anxiously. Each contestant thought the best cake was theirs and boasted about their baking skills. Except Rapunzel, who waited silently in a corner, afraid of being seen by Evelia. First, they announced the third place. Rapunzel's heart was pounding. Later, they announced the second place. It's my turn now. They're going to say, Avelia's fluffy pastry shop. Listen closely. And the winner is... Everybody held their breath. Avelia had a big smile on her face, confident she would win. Pink Queen Pastry Shop and Cake House! Avelia had been so sure of her victory, she completely ignored Rapunzel's pen name being announced. She had already started walking toward the stage, but when she got there, she heard people giggling and laughing. When she ran into Rapunzel on stage, she realized what had happened. It's you! This is not possible! You've made a big mistake! I deserve the first place! No! Rapunzel deserved this prize! Evelia was enraged because she was humiliated. You're fired! You hear me, Rapunzel? No, Evelia, you're not firing me. I'm quitting. As Evelia stormed off, Rapunzel shook hands with those who congratulated her. Rapunzel was welcomed in the town like a hero. She used part of the prize money to open her own pastry shop and with the other half, she helped those in need. Finally, Rapunzel's dream had come true. Hey guys, subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.